Welcome, in front of me is a Sony Xperia 1 Mark VI and today I will show you how we can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Now, um, I'm gonna quickly mention this, if you have a screen lock on your device, um, if you can turn off your phone without providing the screen lock, then you can also get rid of that screen lock. Uh, but if it tells you that you need to put in a pattern, which, you know what, I'm gonna quickly set it up just so I can see that myself. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go into security and I'm gonna quickly choose my screen lock pattern. Okay, so um, let's start off uh, from the beginning mentioning uh, typically you would be able to get rid of a screen lock. Let's see if we can do that right now. We're gonna hold power button, volume uh, up, and then select power off, and we actually can turn off the device. Once the device is off, you want to hold the power button and volume down at the same time. And once you see the Sony logo, let go of the power button, but keep holding volume down. Now, uh, this allows you to get rid of a screen lock that you have set that you may not know. Uh, but if you also have a Google account signed in on a device prior to the reset, this will lock the device and once the reset is finished and you're going to the setup, you will need to verify one of those two things, either the screen lock or the Google account that was signed in. So just mentioning that because some people might think that it deletes both of them. There is additional security just so you, know, you don't borrow permanently a phone from someone and then decide to reset it to get rid of everything that was on it and basically have a nilly willy uh, free phone. So anyway, uh, with that being said, once you're in the recovery mode, using volume buttons either up or down, you want to scroll down and select wipe data factory reset and confirm that option with the power button. Select factory data reset the same way. It will give you formatting data, then data wipe complete and reboot system now will be selected by default. So we're going to press power button once again to initiate the reboot. Now the device is going to continue resetting itself in the background so it will take it a little bit longer to boot back up and once that it's finished we'll be presented with the setup screen so i'll be back once that is visible for me and as you can see the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you like so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching